from decaying Soviet monuments to the bridge that's possibly possessed by the devil, here are 12 strangest places in Bulgaria. But first, we'd like to give a shout out to all of our Bulgarian subscribers out there, and be sure to let us know in the comments section that you're watching. Number 12. House of Bulgarian Communist Party When the Soviet Union crumbled in the 1990s, they left behind many relics from the past that are no longer in use and will seriously mark the landscapes of the cities here. A photographer by the name of Rebecca Litchfield took this impressive photo in Buzlegia, Bulgaria of the decaying Bulgarian Communist Party house. In the center of the ceiling, you see the well-known hammer and sickle or the former emblem of the USSR, which was once used for holding meetings of influential Soviet leaders. Number 11. Belogradchik Fortress This unbelievable ancient fortress is located in northwestern Bulgaria along the northern slopes of the Baltic Mountains. This time, the ancient people who inhabited modern-day Bulgaria used some strange rock formations to their advantage for fortifying important locations. They used the rocks as walls during ancient Roman times, and it was not only used as a defensive structure, but also for spying long distances. The fortress was upgraded in the 14th century by Ivan Stratzimer. Eventually, the Ottomans pushed their way through here and captured the area in 1396, but not without an intense fight. More changes were then made by the Ottomans, but with more European architecture like we see here. Number 10. Creepy Bulgarian Tree Bulgaria is certainly a mysterious region in Europe. It's technically located in the Balkans, which consists of several countries who often have trouble agreeing on their borders. Geographically speaking, it's the area that's surrounded by the Adriatic Sea to the west, Mediterranean to the south, and the Black Sea to the east. But as you walk through the forests of Bulgaria, you might come across this spooky looking tree. As you take a closer look, you can tell it certainly looks like a person, with two legs, two arms, and even a head. The person that snatched the photo said he was speechless when he first spotted it. The more you look at this creepy looking tree, the weirder it seems to get. Number 9. The Varna Necropolis Also known as the Varna Cemetery, this burial site in Bulgaria has been considered to be one of the most important archaeological sites ever discovered in the world's prehistory. Some of the gold found here actually dates back to 4600 BC making it an extremely rare find. This man here was buried with some of the world's oldest golden jewelry, showing that people from all periods of time enjoyed being a little bit blinged out. This must have been the world's wealthiest man about 7,000 years ago. Over 300 objects were found here that were made of pure gold. Objects like axes, bracelets, scepters, and other simply remarkable objects that would be difficult to recreate even to the finest modern jewelers were found here. Number 8. Alexander Nevsky Cathedral Chances are you probably come across quite a few different impressive cathedrals in Europe. But this unique cathedral found in the capital city of Sofia is quite unique considering its Neo-Byzantine style. It's also one of the largest Eastern Orthodox houses of worship in the world and can hold over 10,000 people. It's not quite as old as you would imagine either. Alexander Nevsky, the architect of this impressive structure, finished his design in the late 1880s and construction was finally finished in 1912. The temple has 12 bells with a total of 23 tons and the largest one weighing at 12 tons. The interior is fitted with Italian marble of various colors and materials as far away as Brazil were imported for this completion. It's highly decorated with Byzantine mosaics and it appears to be a way for them to hold on to their historic culture as much as it is for being used as a house of worship and it appears to be a way for them to hold on to their historic culture and also be a house of worship at the same time. Other cryptic relics are on display too, including a rib of a saint. Number 7. Pobidi Kamani What might appear at first glance to be the ruins of a long lost civilization in the Varna province is actually a strange rock formation and a natural heritage site. It's technically considered to be the only desert in Bulgaria and finding something like this in Europe is nearly impossible. The desert consists of sand dunes that some believe were created from intense winds coming from the Black Sea. Others speculate that the area was the result of coral activity. Pobidi Kamani and possibly the Tiberis Desert of Spain are the only places in Europe where cactus are known to actually grow. 
The most remarkable feature though is of course the stone pillars which can reach as high as 30 feet tall. The unique area is protected as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is slowly becoming one of the biggest tourist attractions in Bulgaria. The only other formations like this that are known to exist are found in Australia. Number 6. Vampire Tombs a mysterious tomb was discovered in Bulgaria of a skeleton with a stake driven through its heart that we see in this photo, which we all know is the way you're supposed to kill a vampire. In the Middle Ages, the people of Eastern Europe feared the actual existence of vampires among them, so they took a few precautionary measures in order to prevent themselves from becoming victims of vampire attacks. A skeleton in Bulgaria was found pinned to the ground with a metal stake through its heart. This would prevent him from leaving during the night and sucking people's blood, they believed. This ancient skeleton was identified as being 35 to 40 years old and was found near the town of Sozopal, not far away from the Black Sea. The professor who made the discovery says that there's no doubt that this is an anti-vampire ritual and this was used to keep someone evil from rising again someday in the future. This could have also been done to ward off plagues that were devastating medieval towns. Number 5. Thracian Tomb of Kazanlak before the Soviets, Romans, or Ottomans, a civilization known as the Thracians ruled the land of modern-day Bulgaria. This burial site gives archaeologists a vast amount of knowledge about the ancient ancestors of Bulgarians and displays many artistic displays of scenes throughout their history. This is located smack dab in the middle of the country near the ancient capital of Suthopolis and is decorated with murals displaying knowledge of horseback riding in the 4th century BC, which was still pretty early for the domestication of horses in Europe. It's possible that due to Bulgaria's proximity to the Middle East and Asia, that Thracians were one of the first civilizations in Europe to have mastered horseback riding and combat. The tomb also displays wedding ceremonies, funeral ceremonies, and chariot races. At the moment, the real tomb is not open to the public, but they've dedicated a replica tomb for people wanting to learn more about ancient Thracian history. The real one contains tombs of thousands of Thracian kings and aristocrats, and is one of Bulgaria's best preserved artistic locations. Number 4. Alyosha Monument As we've mentioned before, Bulgaria was certainly a part of the Soviet Union whether they liked it or not, and possibly as a form of propaganda, massive monuments were constructed to represent Soviet strength. Here we see the Alyosha Monument, which stands 36 feet tall in the city of Plovdiv. Built in 1957, this was meant to memorialize the Red Army gaining control over the city after fighting off Nazi forces during World War II. The striking presence is rather clear as it sits on top of a hillside overlooking the city. Inhabitants of the town have mixed feelings about the monument. While some believe it's a dark reminder of Soviet rule, others find it to be a work of art that attracts tourism to the area. The people of the city even thought about turning it into a giant coke bottle, but instead, they just left it the way it is. It's also used as an observation tower where people can take in amazing views of the valley around them. What do you think about this relic of the Soviet rule? Should Bulgaria hold on to Soviet monuments for tourism purposes, or should they transform them into something else less imposing? Let us know in the comment section and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 3. Bulgarian Soviet Friendship Monument also located in the province of Varna, another imposing Soviet monument stands tall, made of solid concrete. This stands right on the coastline of the Black Sea so that it can be visible to incoming ships. The location of the monument also has historical importance to it. It was built on Turna Hill, which saw quite a bit of bloodshed, where Russians launched an attack on the Ottomans in 1828. It takes 300 steps to reach the top and the monument is 160 feet tall. The four sculptures you see here are of four soldiers who are coming to rescue three seemingly helpless Bulgarian women. The monument tries to display Soviet heroism and wants to represent how they've saved Bulgaria from foreign rulers throughout history, while they were sort of foreign occupiers themselves. On the positive side, the Soviets then added 20,000 trees to this project surrounding the monument, which helps out with the environment at least. The structure opened up in 1978, but was left abandoned after the fall of communism. Today, it's still visited by many tourists in the area. Number 2. Kaliakra the rocky coastline of the Black Sea in some locations can certainly create some dramatic breathtaking scenery. Located just north of Varna, this peninsula is known for its steep cliff sides, medieval fortresses, and spooky history. According to legend, 40 Bulgarian women decide that they would rather jump off the cliffside and into the Black Sea rather than being captured by the Ottomans and used as harem girls. Many claim that their ghost still lingers throughout the cliff sides late at night. Other legends tell tales about an officer of Alexander the Great 
who sees a large amount of treasure, then he decided to hide out here. However, on his way, he was met with a huge storm that sunk his ship. Could there still be treasure lingering nearby? Visitors of this mysterious piece of land can explore the ruins of the fortress that was built here, a statue of Admiral F. Ushakov, dolphins, and also the wind power generators that provide electricity to nearby areas. And number one, the Devil's Bridge. Be careful about crossing the Devil's Bridge in Bulgaria, because it might just be possessed by the Devil himself. <laughs> there are a few Devil Bridges throughout Europe, but many claim that this one here is the creepiest in the world, and that the Devil himself actually helped construct it. It also gets this name for the ghoulish reflection it makes on the water, and if you turn the photo vertically, you can see the horns and evil shape of the eyes. Legends also claim that a body of the Builder's wife was hidden inside the structure and the Builder had to make a pact with the Devil to complete it. Some believe if you look around the wilderness around the bridge, you can actually find the Devil's footprints on the stones. No matter what the case may be, this is certainly a spooky looking bridge, especially when it's foggy. Locals tend to avoid walking here late at night, but you'll certainly find the ghosts on top of the bridge. <laughs>